Data drives a lot of the things that we do. I'm very bullish on Miami. We still have a lot of the problems that uh, other major mo metropolitan areas have. We have we have crime issues. We have traffic issues. Those kind of uh, problems that I deal with as the mayor uh, on a daily basis. You know, we need to have the the data to say, okay, what is the problem, and then how do we go around and, and attack that particular problem. There are always problems in, to, that you have to solve, and to have the right data, give us the the right solution to the problem. I'm not apprehensive about our open data because uh, the way I look at it is it's the people's data. You know, the data that we generate for them should be completely accessible to them to manipulate in however, whatever form they, they want to. I also, you know, like um, open data so that the citizens of Miami-Dade County can see what it is that we're doing. But also, you know, I'm the mayor, right, and I'm, I'm the chief administrative officer. So I know I'm the chief executive, all right, uh, of, of Miami-Dade. And I can't catch everything. I've got 25,000 employees, you know, $7 billion budget. And so every once in a while, when a citizen says, hey, why are you spending, you know, $10,000 on whatever, uh, I may not know we're spending $10,000 on whatever because it's, you know, it's down the, down the line somewhere but I need them to let me know. If it's something that I need to know, then I'll deal with it. I wanna have more eyes looking at our government. Uh, we have nothing to hide. We're not perfect. Uh, and if we make a mistake, I'd like for you to catch it so that A, we don't make, you know, we stop it if we can or we don't, we, don't, we don't do it again. So that's why I like you know, open data. It's not mine, it belongs to them.